hey guys welcome back to another video so i'm back again with another build inspired by mistlands this epic medieval wizard tower which is my absolute favorite out of the three i've made so far this time i was able to mix the marble with the stone and it turned out better than i expected i think it's my best build so far i don't know maybe what do you guys think what is your favorite build i created let me know in the comments with that being said let's jump right in so this is all the material that you will need to complete the structure this does not include material for decoration and bear in mind this is just an estimated so it could be a little bit less or it could be more so you need two carts of stone one cart of wood one stack of coal wood one stack of fine wood one cart of marble and i would suggest you get three stacks of tar you also need like two stack of iron so that you can support the structure so to make the tower, we're going to start off by making a octagonal layout. So we put down two two meter wall and then we rotate it two times. One, two again, rotate it two times. One, two, rotate it two times. One, two, rotate it two times. One, two. You basically get the idea. Next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to raise these walls about 21 stone walls high. So we're going to start off by just doing my usual staggered formation. So we start off with uh, a small stone and then we put a 2 meter stone and a small on top of that. And you can just do the same thing here. Small 2 meter stone and put another small up top right here. And then you just fill in these little base here with a two meter two meter stone just like this you can just repeat the same thing on the other side so a small two meter on top and small again also forgot to mention that uh, when we're building with stone for persons that are not familiar with stone or the structure with the stone the highest that you can go with stone in this uh, staggered formation is about 14 stone walls high so to get that extra 7 that we need to make the total 21 stone walls in height, we will need to use wood iron poles, which is what you're seeing right now. Now another thing here that I want to point out is the doorway and where to position these wood iron poles. So I'm going to make a doorway here, just take these out, fill these back in. So we're going to make it about 4 meters. So enough space to hold to hold that. Yeah, so this will be our doorway. So just enough to hold one of these doors. So so that we have that in place. So we're gonna switch back over to our wood iron pole. And now I want you to do this specifically. So you're going to, because this is very important, especially for this side of the, the structure where we're going to put the hangover uh, structure. Uh, so we're going to put an iron beam right here. I'm going to go down. So we'll put one more right here. So it's basically close to the crease right here, as you can see. And then we can just do the same thing around here. And we go around here, right here, here, and here. And there's fine. Now it may look weird that uh, you have an iron beam right here and none right here. I mean, you can put the extra right here for what to balance out the look of it, but maybe that would be too much. But uh, you should have a decent amount of support. But just to make sure, let's put one right here, just in case that it starts to crumble in this section. And we can just build this all the way up to the top right now for this wall. It's about here. So your tower should be complete so far, and uh, just to make sure you can add just one extra wood iron pole on these that you've stopped earlier on. Just so that whenever you're making any windows or open up some sections, the top doesn't crumble on you. Because it was currently showing red, so that, which, that should ease a bit of the pressure. Maybe I should add in just one set. Yeah, that should be good. Now the next thing that we're going to focus on is that we're going to mark where our window is going to be because we're going to have two windows. So one is going to be right here. So I'm going to take this out. Just add this back in. You just open up right here. 
the next thing what we're going to do is that we're going to get our four by two walls and we're going to attach it at the front uh each side like this we we'll just go around place one right here around place one right here so you should have these little space in between uh between each of them and we're going to make use of that uh later on so once you have these in we're going to switch over to a our black marble uh marble plinth and we're going to start off with this side first so i want you to just kind of put your pointer above and so you can see clearly that you want the plinth to be in the direction of where the crease is, the crease is pointing towards you your character so this is how you want it to have it in and then you're going to go over to this side you're going to do the same thing it will have a snapping point you just have to feel for it so it should be a balance and in a sense there where it's kind of right in the middle uh, just like that and we just do the same thing over here so we're just doing this all around the base of the structure so once you have all of that done so the next set of details we're going to add so we're going to use the same plinth and we're just going to draw it close so it's like it overlapped the other one so you should see it looking like this so we're just doing this to each of them and once you have all of them in place just like this we're going to rotate it one time like this for this side here and you're going to find that snapping point deep within it so it should go in like this because it's snapping to the one that is at the, the back here so we just do the same thing here rotate it one time find that snapping point and add that little detail just like that so do the same thing over here add that snapping point rotate it one time snap point and we're just doing this all around with each of them thing that you're going to add is these little small black marble columns and you're going to try to well there's a snapping point so you're just going to try to make sure that it's centered centered with this piece right here so it should be yeah that should be workable so let's we'll bring this about three four five five in total should bring it up to we we'll just do the side right here so let's make sure that it tucks in like that just a little piece there's a snapping point there and it's in line with this middle uh, pivot marble stone and then we just bring this up five in total so once you're done this is what you should have overall and then we're just gonna get our two meter black marble and we just going to just aim let's place it right in front of just in line with the wall stone wall behind it just like that should i properly like that and let's do the same over here so we're just doing this uh, all around the structure okay so once we're done with that then next we're gonna get our black marble arch and we're just going to aim right in this little sweet spot right here so just right beside these columns and it should look like it's centered in those two meter pillars so we're just going to put one more over here and have it set like that so we'll do this side right here and one right here and we're just doing so we're just basically doing this all around the, the structure until we have this design and then we're going to do this as well on top of it we we'll get the black marble pillar with and we we'll just place it on top of it like this just make sure that it's uh snapped in properly there and you would add one more up top right here going around the structure okay so now that we have all of those pieces in place now we're just going to go back down to the base here see if we can add a little bit more detail and kind of tone down the stone and the black marble to kind of add a little bit of brown here and there so that it can look a little prettier so we're gonna grab our door nor darkwood door now i just want to point out that there is a snapping point right here in the middle uh where you can find it placing either it's with a column creating that snap but, but there is a snapping point so it's able to place this in pretty easy I'm going to just open this up and just to kind of cover up the little stone edges here we're going to get our dark wood for dark wood pole that is optional i i prefer using the dark wood scene that's i'm um, using the door as well and it looked nice working with the, the door let me just ensure that it's not showing so it's not showing there so it's all good 
Now for the top right here, we're just going to get our Darkwood Arch. And we're just going to slide this in. Right, so if you're having trouble to get it over into that sweet spot there. So we're just going to get our 1 meter wood. Just place it right here at the edge. And then we're just going to aim right at it so that it can push the Darkwood into the column. Just like that. And we can just do the same thing on the other side right here. We'll just aim right in. And we're just kind of beautify the front there. I think I'm going to add a coil wood right up top. Just like this. Oh well. We can aim right up and kind of tuck it in between there. So if you grab a ladder and you can just uh, aim right on top of the dark wood arch. So that you can slide the coil wood in like that. Great. So we're going to focus on the windows. So we're just going to frame it out. So we're just going to add this regular wood right here. And we're just going to use, I'm going to rotate this so that the edge of the wood is facing you. I like to do this so that the window doesn't look too flat. And we just do the base right here with the wood going across. And for the top right here, I add a just, just regular wood, but just slightly above, not in line with the one just placed. So slightly above like that. And we're just going to get a one meter pole to the side and kind of turn, rotate it one time into the wall just like that. Let's do the other side. Let's make sure that it snaps in properly because because of so many uh, pieces kind of overlapping. So there is like multiple different snapping points that you can find by accident. So you have this in place. Now for like the base right here and the front of right here, what we're going to do is we add a little bit of wood trim here and here going across just like that and for the bottom here we use the stone floor well actually we use the marble and we're just gonna slide it in across like that just like that and we're just doing this all around now these are the only windows that we'll have there won't be any windows around the back so bear in mind of, of that so we'll just slide this in and slide this in but it's optional to you if you want to put windows there but uh later on we will add our staircase and you'll see why we choose not to put any windows around there and we just slide this in and slide this in as well so i'm gonna do the rest off screen but you should get an idea that you should have these little details in and you will add these as well going around the structure the next bit of detail we're going to add so in these little space here where you're seeing the stone so all around each of them you're going to add this uh, one meter wood so as you can see i aim right on the wood on top of it and you will see that it kind of snaps like in between the the beam there so we're just doing this going across like this and we kind of fill out the back here as well because this is going to be our window ledge uh, although this is not a window, but we're going to do the same thing for consistency. I would just snap these in just like that. Maybe this should go in a little bit that way, about halfway. So it should be like in the middle of the beam. And then we can just uh, fill all these back section out. It's just to add more variety of colors uh, along with the gray and the black marble. So kind of tone it down a bit. And then the next thing you're going to do is that we're going to add our drapes. So we're just going to get the red dupe curtain. And we can just aim right underneath here. Or we can do this inside preferably. It should be better. Or we can just add it in just like this. Inside and the other side. I'm going to do that outside right here. So rotate like this and like this. Well, it depends on you if you want it to look like that. So with shipper. And the next thing we're going to get is our shutters. With shutters. And we just start from the top here. We're just going to snap these in just like that. We're just going to get this piece in. So we have to aim just like a little bit in the corner here. To get that in or if you have an issue you take this out try to snap it in from the bottom and then put it in put the next one in from top just like that and just a bit of correction with the windows seeing that we're here the windows should actually be three one two three meters in width and height so we're going to take one extra out we'll just take this out and we're just going to slide these back in then you just re-add your drapes and for the windows so we're going to use the the new 
purge metal and we just add in our windows right here so just kind of throw it to the back here just like that and just uh, add one more at the top now that the bottom windows are all set now we need to focus on the middle windows and the top windows so only for like three sections let me just take this out here so about right here is you're going to take out these two stones and take out this one and take out the, these two right here so you're going to fill those back in with one meter stone and you will take out these as well so do the same uh so you take this out that out this one and uh, this one you fill these back in preferably when you, you do each window at a time so that you don't have any difficulty but uh so you get to slide this back in and slide that back in this is same right here slide this back in this back in you may have a little bit of difficulty trying to get the pieces in between right here you can you can slide it back in just like that and you would do the same thing for this side here perfect these out I'm just uh, kind of line it up with the this the marble like this. Take these out. Take these out. We can slide this back in. We can see if we can try that on the outside right here. So we just have to find that spot. You can just take this out and just kind of put it back in like that. And then you just slide this back in just like that. So you have a difficulty getting those pieces in great so once you have these windows now all set now we just need to mark the top window so it's one space and then another space and then you make the hole right there so that is where our top window is going to be and we're just going to break these out fill them back in with one meter stone link it so went up to see break these should be about maybe one more i think there's one more so we have a nice uh, uh window so that should be it okay so now that the bottom windows are all set so go ahead i went to add an add iron cages in between uh yeah so the one by one uh, iron cages uh in these windows so these are all set and for the top here uh if you're wondering about this wood i just did a little framing on the inside of the, the tower so for outside here we're going to focus on adding uh we're going to use the diverge here diverge metal wall and uh, we're going to place it like about right here it should be good and when we're placing it in there so that it can be like in the center of the stone and i'm going to place it with this on top so you just have to make sure it line up because I find that it can be a bit funny where it uh, can have like an odd snapping point at times. Uh, not seen any at that point though. No. So the next thing that we wanted to do just to make this pop some more. So we're just going to get our wooden beam, rotate it two times, make sure that the wood edge is facing your character. Do the same on the other side, overlap it like that till we reach to the top. Switch over to the beam and fill in the top and also at the bottom then we're going to add some detail so that to make your window pop so i'm going to place another wooden beam up the top right here just go and cross like that and then we're going to put another piece right here you're going to rotate it one time or just like that into the wall and just do the other side just like that and you can see the window is starting to take shape and the next other thing that we're going to add is that we're going to add our glass behind these so that it can pop some more because we want it to look like it's a glass with a little design in it but for, to, for us to do that we cannot place the glass uh with overlapping the the metal wall we're going to hold down on shift key and place it behind it instead just like that and that and just make sure to aim on like the wall itself so that you can easily place the pieces you can place it on top of each other because glass cannot support itself uh, so there's no structure and take to oh, let's make sure that it's not snapping into the, the metal wall there So let's do this all the way up until we are basically done The reason why I do it like this is because you can now look appreciate the design of the metal wall and the glass behind it really pretty and it's uh, I, I love it. I love the, uh, the style So the other thing that we're gonna do is that we're going to add our window 
window ledge but before we do that we need to add a little bit of detail here because it's going to overlap with our window ledge so we want to get this out of the way first we're just going to grab our beam wooden beam here and just place it in between the creases of, of where the black marble and the regular wall meets just right there at that point so we're just going around the tower with it and then once you're once you're done with having that then the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to add your core wood and this is just to give it some depth uh, so we're going to manual place this in so aim at the wall Let's slightly climb it bring it down just a bit about that should be well that's too too much let's bring it up just a little bit more so maybe about right here that should be good and then you're going to wrap it around the structure just like this now there is going to be an issue when you continue with it on this side here it may start to uh, merge into the wall instead of protruding out more which is what you want it to do so if i fill this section here in i'm just carry this around just like that we're going to grab our core wood again instead of making it automatically snap to this edge we're going to manually place it in so hold down on shift key let's make sure that it just lines up with it uh you may just can aim at the board at the bottom here so that you can position it and maybe bring it out a little bit more something like that maybe just touch a little bit there and it's yeah, pretty much good it's pretty much good it kind of slightly off a bit uh, so what you can do is maybe you can take that out or you can just try to manually place it and it may, it may protrude a bit more than than the other side right here but this is uh, pretty okay because it's a side preferably try to keep the front as clean as possible because it's more pleasing to the eyes when you're coming into your house and you look up and you see that i know that this would be a, a little bit of an issue for me but there's no getting around this and so when you're going around the other side you can just automatically snap that in so now that we have those pieces in we can now focus on putting our half wall now this is going to rest on top of the core wood as you can see it basically automatically snaps itself in place there so we're just going to press the, these on top and just going around this structure just like this so and then once you have all these core wood well all these half wood rather in place then we just switch back to our beam and just clean up the top right here and just go around the structure like this with the beam and then what we can do is that once you have that done we can focus on completing the window ledge which we can do right now we just add in using the one by one floor and we just uh, snap it in like this and then for the side right here we just uh, add a wood here and one here and then back to the one meter wood flooring with this kind of one rotation and then just snap it into the side to see if we can get that in so put that in there we're just going to put this back it was given an issue when you try it then you just have to take it out and then just add the flooring sometimes it can be a bit finicky at times so let's slide that in then put the one meter wood back in just like that and there we go we have our nice little window ledge and then we can focus on adding our core wood this section by just snapping it right in these creases here and we're just doing the same thing uh, all around the structure and once you have that done you should be good to go so overall your structure should look like this with all the aesthetic details added now we're going to focus on the left hanging structure and what we're going to do is that so right here where this uh, row of stone is above this uh, this uh, design here or you can say this row of stone that lines up with the window right here so the one above it is the one you break and then you're going to attach a wood iron beam so let me just get that here done correctly so it's not going to turn to that direction it's going to turn to one rot tick rotation so if the wall is facing you like this so one tick rotation to your left like that and then you add another wood iron beam like that and then rotate it two times one two and one two yeah the two more one two a two more one two two more and finally one two and then we just connect it to the wall right here and we can check to see if there is any wood iron beam uh, near there so it should get some support uh right here so it should be good 
so we can fill that back in with stone now once we have this done then we can add our wood on top of it so we're just gonna get our half wall using the side that's gonna have that little wooden strip in the middle right here that's going across like that and just if do this around the structure here so the thing that we're going to add is that we're going to grab our 26 degree beam and we're going to make it look like it's not floating because uh we want it to to be realistic you know and we're going to add our 26 degree beam right here just hanging down like that it's going to come down to the center right here with a 45 degree beam just like this and then we're going to use the same thing here so make sure that it's uh going to go in the direction of the crease or where it's going so this crease is the direction this crease is basically this direction this one is like this direction so you kind of get the drift so you're going to do this for for all of them going all around the, the structure just make sure that it snaps in properly it seems that this have its own snapping point just want to make sure that it snaps in properly so take this out and just work off by aiming at this over here just to help you solve that problem so basically do two of these 26 degree beam and then you would do the 45 degree 145 degree to me overlap in the center here so i'm going to do that off screen so that you can see the finish look of it so this is what you should have so far so it should be overlapping and creating this nice little unique design here but it's supposed to give you the idea that it's been overlapped oh seems like i forgot to add one piece right here let me just slide that piece in and we should be good just like that now we can focus on the structure itself and try to get the roof in place before we get the big roof done so we're gonna get our one meter wood well actually we're gonna put a one meter wood right here let's see we can put it right here and we're going to put one a two meter wood up top so basically we're going to do the same thing all around so two meter on each of these corners right here so once you have these in place then you're going to switch on over to your 26 degree beam and it's going to make sure it's follow the direction of the crease so that would go this direction this one would go uh, this direction and this would go this direction so you basically get the idea just make sure that they are going the correct direction and just like that so they all should be pointing towards the center if you look at it carefully as you can see that little centerpiece that little centerpiece right here you can use that a mark as a marker so if just to ensure that if you have done something wrong and also just to mention as well that, that make sure that you're following the, where you place the beam so that this is what is the end result if it is out too much out then you might have done something wrong with the layouts up top here so once we have this in we're going to add one meter wood in front of each of them and then you're going to switch on over to the 26 degree beam and place it on top of each of these one meter wood so i'm going to do complete the rest off screen and then we can move on from there afterwards okay so now that you have these in place so what you're going to do is that you're going to add one more 26 degree on each of them and then you would add switch over to a 45 degree and this would be where your roof would stop for the time being and once you have these in the next thing that you will do is just to make sure that to get them give them additional support you're gonna have like a core wood right here and you're gonna kind of place it right underneath so that it is touching the angle beam to provide it some support so just aim right underneath here and it should snap in automatically to the bottom right here and you should have enough support so that you can fill in the roof pieces and when you have those pieces in let me just add this 26 degree beam here and then i'll show you the next thing so you get your regular beam going across so you're going to fill these area here going across just like that just going to overlap each other right here in this case going to be doing this around just rotate it two times so that can flow that direction you may have to kind of taper this just a bit maybe about like a one meter piece right here and, and then switch on over to a 26 degree beam just angle it 
uh, like that. So just kind of flow with the wall right here and just kind of place another piece like that. That should uh, work out there for you. Then what you do is just to continue doing this beam all around the structure. So with this back section here, so this is the back of the tower. So the roof part right here, you would add three of these two meter beam going across like that. And then you add one of the 26 degree beam. This imagine that it's another crease that's like one that facing like this. And right, so from this point and we just rotate it two time or one time, preferably should be okay. You have to find that middle sweet spot and just connect it there. And so that it can give you support. And so that when we're fill, filling the, the roof pieces, then that should flow in as well. Another thing too, is that we're going to add these dark wood arch and we're just going to place them uh, here. It's kind of overlapping the, the wood here. Just make sure it's going in line with it. Actually, we should have placed the, these first would be a lot better, but uh, yeah, we place these in place one overlapping like that kind of get a nice little arch in the middle here and just do the same thing on this side overlap here let's make sure that this is set properly overlap here and overlap we can take this out and we can just put this in like that so we can do the same thing over here rotate overlap like that and overlap it right here and we're just doing this on all the sides until all of them looks uh, like that. So now that we have our all our dark wood arches in place, so we're going to grab our 26 degree stairs and we're just going to place it right underneath here. Just uh, snap in like that. And we're just doing this all all around these little open sections here. Maybe this could snap in a bit. Let's see if we can squeeze it in. Yes, we can. We can squeeze that in. And when you have this done, then you can focus on the roof here where you can grab your 26 degree dark wood piece and you start from the side sides first then you go into the middle like that so sides first so you go up right here to the side so it should protrude in over to the other side just like that and you just do the other side should be good and then you go into the middle like that then you switch over to the 20 45 degree piece and we just start from the left side well it could be any side left side right side just make sure that it's tucked in not protruding too much around the other side so it should be just a little piece that is that's going over just like this and just like that and you will just do the same method all around till your roof is in place Okay, so once you have all the roof pieces in place now you see that the left structure is starting to take some shape so we're gonna go inside and we're gonna leave this open here because we're going to work on the main roof structure soon so inside here we need to put our flooring down so it can be any direction or any pattern you want doesn't have to be any special way but i try to just work with the side until i reach into the middle and just fill it out randomly as i go along uh, maybe just put something like this it's like right over here like that kind of crisscross okay so once you have the flooring all done then you can mark the doorway so it's gonna break out the stone here let's take this one out take this this out pull this back in with a one meter stone the corner right here let's see if we can squeeze that in all right there we go and then we can break one more right here because we're gonna use the gate as a door or we can just leave it open whichever but this is going to be our main doorway and we can just clean it up by just uh, creating a door jam like this put wood right here right here and put a beam going across at the top like that and then i will usually just uh, put the wood up top and a one meter wood uh, wrapped into the structure like that nice and neat there we go so now we're going to add some detail to the structure so for these little iron beams so we're gonna grab our dark wood and we're going to cover it up using these uh, dark wood pieces let's see if we can get this in properly so it's kind of overlap it a bit let's see if we can get that in can maybe we can aim at the piece here or we can just use a two meter dark wood if it four meters giving you problems and try to get that piece in it's due to the wall all right so we can get that piece in by aiming at the other one uh like that and we can just uh, wrap it around 
we're going around here so once you have like these in the next thing that you would do which i like to do to just give it a little bit of depth because it looks a bit flat so i wanted to pop out more so we're going to use core wood and just kind of place it right above right above it like that hold down on shift key man will place it in the slightly above or dark wood piece right there not uh overshadowing it too much and man will place the next piece in just uh, don't make it snap because we want it to wrap around with the same consistency so just hold down on shift key this man will place it in like that so hold down on shift key this this uses as a guide this dark wood centerpiece as a guide here just make sure to center it and this man will place it in like that we'll just get our last piece right here let's hold on the shift key and this man will place that in then we can get our one meter beam and just kind of put it into these little creases right here that's right here and we can put one right here and we can put one right here another right here so you should have like a nice little design like that and for the half wall right here we kind of clean it up a bit because it looks uh, like it needs a little bit of tlc there so we just kind of clean it up a bit like that we we'll just go around the structure so once we have the little detail in place now we can just add this uh, little detail here up the top not it's not that much but it is going to add one meter beam they're going out like that and just do one right here maybe i should maybe leave this one out because i don't want to be too too much in the way of the window right here we want to have a window uh, set the appearance for the the tower so we're just going to pull this uh, part right here so all these little creases we're going to do we're just gonna fill these out with one meter beam you can switch on over to the blue dude curtains which uh, i totally love and we're going to start from maybe the edge right here so we can just uh, start about here and just kind of overlap it going around like that maybe maybe start from here because this, this is a bit shorter than the the other side so maybe we can start uh closer so we're just gonna draw this near near it so try to work with the line of the the two meter beam above just use that as a guide and once you have these in oh just another area here we are supposed to add some curtains right here so let me just grab a one meter beam i'm just going to use this as a how to place uh, these in so you're going to hold down on shift key and manually place it in so this wood is going to kind of go close to the edge just exactly how you see it and what we're going to do is that we're going to grab our blue drapes i'm just going to aim at it and slide it up because we wanted to go in line with the beam right here so it kind of goes tucked in just a little bit just like that because we want to I, I like to see this little wood design here this kind of merge within the beam like that and you have the dude to kind of show in more the face of the, the, the structure and we're just gonna just do this the these windows we can do it all around just to keep the the, the design just throughout okay so finally now we can focus on the main tower roof so we're gonna grab our 26 degree beam and we're going to snap it in these creases here so so where it is pointing these creases are pointing that's where you turn the beam uh to that direction you just do it uh, all around it the the top section here we'll just try to do over here as well this is why i mentioned that you should leave this here section open so that you can have these wood pieces going in without any without having any issues so piece like this so the next thing you would do is that you would switch over to your two meter beam and you're going to snap it uh, like that going out so two meter beam out so i'm gonna do this off screen so you do the 26 degree beam and then the two meter beam for each of these little corners here so next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add the 26 degree beam i've done it already but you're going to add two 26 degree beam on top of the two meter beam just like this as you can see right here and that next thing you would switch to is your 45 degree beam and you would go up in total about three of them but because you're gonna need additional support to get that final piece in because it's, as you can see it's showed red you would need to add core wood to give it that additional support you need 
so you're going to aim right here just hold down on shift key and manually place this uh, core wood in the reason why i want you to manually place it in is so that the core wood snaps right into the wood and not showing outside of the wood that's what's going to happen when you make it snap into this groove here so just manually place it in just a little bit before the the groove there so that it can go into the stone and provide support to the roof up here and you just uh, finish it up by adding your final 26 degree roof piece and uh, finish up the structure of the roof then once you have that done then you can finish finish up by adding uh, these uh, beam going across here for our roof overhang and so that's you can put in your roof pieces so you're going to do this all around the roof now that we have our roof structure in place so we're going to add a little bit of uh, detail or a little raven adornment and what we're going to do is that we're going to take out this two meter wood right here now the reason why we we didn't try to do this first because there's no snapping point to facilitate the roof structure so we can take it out now and then we can slide it in and it should look like that we can take this out slide it in it should look like that so we're just basically doing this all around the structure here and another detail that we're going to do is that we're going to take the upside down stairs and we're just going to attach it to the edge here like that and we get our flooring or wooden floor and just make sure that it is snapped in like that with the wood so that it's not protruding out at the front we'll just do the same over here you kind of overlap it a bit like what about that and we can bring this uh, close enough uh, to that side and that should be good and then once you have that in and you're doing this all around the structure here uh, you would also add these two four meter walls and you're going to place these right underneath here going around the structure like that and grab our 26 degree roof piece and we're just going to start from the side just like we did with the other roof so the sides first then we move over into the middle so the sides first right here and over here and then we just move into the middle and then once you have those in place you switch over to the 45 degree start from the side first like this you should find that snapping point and you should see it should overlap the beam with just a little piece pushing out there and right here and for the top you just kind of place it right in the center so it should have something like this if it goes to one side it's no problem it will do that if you try to shuffle it around and then you just repeat the same step on the next uh, section so you're basically doing this repeating the same thing for each of these sections you're going around to fill up the roof once you have followed steps and put your roof pieces in then your roof should basically look like this now we're going to move on to our right side of our tower right here and i went ahead and made an opening but let me just show you where you're supposed to make that so we're going to grab our Darkwood arch and you're going to aim right here about right here so basically the top of the darkwood arch should be in line with the, this little wood strip here on the back of the half wall and we're just going to put one over here and uh, if you had some of these pieces here in this section you would have to break those out and then i made an opening here so basically the height is one two three stone walls high and you're basically at the same level as these dark arches for the floor then we're just going to add our floor in just like this and for the the structure of it so you're going to get a half wall put one right here and one over here and you're going to get your four wood and you're going to put one two three four and then you're going to switch back to your half wall you can turn it around and show the back part right here and then you're going to put another half wall you're going to turn this around just to show the smooth part then you're going to switch on over to your regular 26 degree wall to put on top of that and what you're going to do is that you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side before you proceed there you need to add your your roof structure for this for this part so you basically put a one meter wood attached to the side right here and another right here for the overhang and then you just grab your 26 degree beam just attach to that and then just kind of go in to the structure like that and then you just repeat the same thing on the other side so once you have the two side structures up now we can focus on the front right here so we're gonna grab our four meter 
uh, dark wood and we're just gonna cover the front right here and over here as well then we switch on over to the dark wood arch and kind of overlap it so make sure that it's the top of it in line with the overhang that we're working on there and we kind of make a snapping points about uh, we can create one up down here so it's we're going to add another four meter core wood here then we get our dark wood arch overlap the other one and another one to overlap that piece there and then we can add the final piece to make our front uh window shape there and then we can add in our roof piece so we're gonna get our 26 degree roof piece here and just go across like this let's fill in this and just go all the way back here and now we're gonna fill in our windows so we're just gonna get our cage here and just gonna place it on top of that one and place one on top of that there so we do the same thing here to so place a cage for this one we'll just place it correctly one right there and let's we'll make sure that it's all filled out going up to the top not all the way up but kind of overlap a bit now then we can grab our glass because we want to have a nice little uh pattern to the glass here so we're just going to manually place the glass in right behind the cage here not to snap it in automatically and to do that make sure you go down on shift key to manually place these in so make sure break this one make sure it's snapped in properly so you just have to make sure that it is the snapping where it should be and not into the glass into the iron cage itself so we're just going to continue by just filling this out and i'll show you how it looks at the end and basically that's how it should look when you have the glass in so the effect that you want is the iron cage in front of the glass not the glass just showing completely and if the iron cage was covered by the glass you won't get this same result so bear that in mind so going back to looking at any other detail that needs to be added so we're going to add our window ledge right here so i always like to give my windows window ledge so we're just gonna fill this out. I'm just gonna wrap it in like that. Let's do the other side. And that is done. And for the top section here of the roof, so there was a little bit of detail I forgot to mention. So you get a 45 degree beam and you kind of snap it in like that. And you're gonna snap it underneath right here. And you're basically doing it for each of these underneath each of these 26 degree beam. You can see that the, you get more the roof comes out more for me underneath and uh, we can just fill these little section here in with some we can just get a two meter beam just gonna clean up the edges right here just going going around the structure and one other thing that you would add is that you would get your core wood and you would just place it right there it's not automatically snaps in by itself so you just place it right there nice little detail underneath the roof where it just kind of pops up more so basically that is it for the structure of the build so now we have to go inside so i can show you how i did the layout here so i've went ahead and just covered the floor with wood at ground level basically there's nothing fancy or anything particularly that you need to take note of but for here putting in the spiral staircase now i've set it in this direction but I wanted to point out that I have it snapped to this, where this is currently highlighted in blue, this, this wall here. So I have it uh, snapped to that point. So it's auto snap right there. And that is where I start the spiral stairs and just kind of go up with it. So, so our first floor would basically start about right here. So counting from like where the doorway is right now. So it's one, two stone wall space right here. And then you have the floor right here and then you would have two space stone wall and then you have the window so this is this should be basically your first floor and so we're going to bring this power stairs up to that point where it meets so let's make sure that's rotated around like this and all the way around until you're at that point so filled out the area here in the floor and just want to point out that uh, when you're boxing in this area just make sure that you when you reach to this staircase right here you just have like a little space right here and it just kind of go across so that your head uh, doesn't bump right under the floor 
and you just kind of box it in because it kind of fits into like uh like maybe like a two by four meter but there's a little extra here just for headroom space so you can slip right underneath it uh like that and so once you have the first floor in place now we start to access the second one now we can just confirm that the stairways will be always be this side here which is basically taking up space and you want to use that space when you're going up top so what we're going to do is that you're going to set us a ladder right here so maybe about about somewhere right here which should be good enough and then you kind of get a floor just kind of tuck into the wall like that kind of give you enough room to to play with when you're going up so we're just gonna go right up here we we'll just maybe get a snapping point about here on the, the the ladder maybe we can see if we can snap another piece right here i think this should be pretty decent enough to to get up here so this one this is the floor that we want to to get to so this would be our second floor so this market so this is the opening for the little angover structure uh right here so let's see if this will get us right to that point that we need so maybe we can rotate it maybe one more we just give it one more rotation just like that so you can catch it right there and then we can just do this one beside it so you maybe the better if we can aim right and underneath it so you can get it snap in correctly there for you so something like that and then you can slide in the one meter floor just to fill in these little little spots right here it's right underneath so should i just flow with the line of this stairs so that it's not you're not bumping your toe basically uh, i think that should be good and then you kind of fill in these little areas here with the one meter floor And that is it for right here now to access uh, this section what you're going to do is that you're going to get your regular 26 degree stairs and you're going to slant it to go with the wall like about there and you're just going to fill this in with one meter wood wood floor that is right just like that and then you just use the two meter to attach it like right there pull in these little holes with one meter floor just like that and you just basically just kind of going around like that until you have one that is sitting right in front of the doorway here and just to access it properly we can just take out this stone get a 26 degree stair and just kind of get it snapped in like that and then you're able to access your little section here that you can use for and for this here just for this part you can fill in the floor you can fill it from this level here so let's get a floor in floor and just kind of fill this area let's kind of go across uh like this i think you can bring this all the way across right here let's just check see if you have you know a room maybe i have to bring it just a little bit a little bit back so maybe you can use like a small floor just kind of fill that in right about here and we kind of make sure that this kind of go in line with how this this the stairs is set currently i just kind of maximize on the, the space right there and just kind of fill this all up like that make and go a little bit more you can maybe pinch a little bit more right here i think that should be should be a little little allowance that we can work with let's see so that is uh, pretty much enough for us right there so that we can get through and you can just fill this area here just kind of get uh, like a, a half wall and you can kind of put right underneath here but we'd have to add the floor first so you can do that all of that is filled out then you should be able to put your half wall right underneath these wooden floor just like this just kind of wrap around and create like a nice little area here where you can use for something so it depends on what you want to use the area for and uh, make use of it so this is basically it and i'm gonna do some decoration off screen and show you the finished work okay so i'm gonna just gonna do a walkthrough here just to explain some of the things i've added here and i think i may do a video for some of these decoration ideas that i've uh, put out right here which are the new uh, jotun puffs and the mage cap 
uh, mushrooms which you're able to place on item stand which is pretty awesome now we have more options for flowers you know to decorate our build another thing i forgot to mention about these lanterns i was able to add right here and also a few on the this little hanging structure here so you can add those if you need to so we're gonna go on inside and as you can see enter here nice red carpet floor added some little cabinets here for bookshelf and some other stuff and a little table throwing a storage here it's pretty cramped in here so i'm trying to my best to make use of the space uh so we have like a nice little table marble table here and our cactus uh so we're just gonna go up to the top we're just gonna show you what we have going on here and how we have decorated the area where we added some more uh shelves here some cabinet shelves and this is basically how the second well it's our first floor this is how it looks we added some little furniture here and we're just going up to the top right here and where we can access our second floor where i was able to add a few of these little decorative items i've added uh this uh, little table here and added a little, nice little display cabinet for this egg and then uh, we can slide on up to our bedroom section here where we had got a few chests here for storage uh the way i've designed it is a way where it becomes like more of an outpost kind of build uh tower where yeah i mean well it can be whatever, whatever you use it as but this is what i had in mind as one of those outposts where you kind of come to and we have a little wardrobe here with some some armor and uh yeah pretty minor decorations here and there i started to use the the rug the new rug as a because it's so small i can use it as a little tablecloth so this is a nice idea that you can use but yeah so, so that is it hope you guys enjoyed the guide to building this wizard tower just want to thank my patrons and youtube members supporters for keeping the channel going and thank you all for watching i remember to always aspire to inspire peace